Uh, the back in the Tesla Model 3, so um, I actually noticed that uh, on the update, uh, we're going to check which update we're talking about the software, uh, The um, actually the 2020.32.5, which I'm on, uh, that should change very soon, but I mean, from that um, update, there was actually the possibility to um, uh, actually set up the camera. So I mean, to set up, uh, reset the cameras, you have to go under the service menu. And then uh, you see this one, which is called camera calibration is actually appearing. So actually you have to type on it. I won't do that now because I actually had it uh, redone last time while driving. Uh, and I actually did it when it was very sunny and with a lot of shades on the road and it really helped solving my phantom braking problems at least for now uh, i will report in case uh, it goes really bad but for the moment it's really good i mean even in tunnels um when there's are shade or overtaking trucks I, it really works fine so um i would recommend you do that uh it would actually then show here uh basically the autopilot uh, steering wheel with um, a little circle that will actually fill up when the car is managing to recognize the the lines um and, and that should work better so for me it took about five to ten minutes uh and i did drive on motorway highway so that actually the lines were very visible um and, and that kind of worked super well okay so um quick video today i just wanted to give you that uh, top tip and uh hope it works for you please um comment down below and don't forget to give a thumbs up in case you liked the video. Thank you and talk to you later. By the way, a little other top tip, a trick. So I'm actually sitting on the passenger seat. Uh, if I actually open the door like this, you can see, I close it and the screen, I mean, even if I touch it, nothing happens as I'm a passenger. So actually to actually re-enable it, just go on the, the seat, press like to simulate there is a weight on it and Ta-da! Comes back to the menu. So it's actually sensitive to the weight of the driver. So that's a small top tip. But I mean, if you're a passenger and you're just frustrated, the screen doesn't work, just press on the driver's seat and it comes back to normal.